Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about an artist called Manny Robertson and doing my inspiration based on his work. You can see there are two photographs, um, one of me in a suit looking up into the sky and one of me in a t-shirt looking all relaxed. Okay, what Manny Robertson does is sew the pictures together to create this really cool effect. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at his work so you can see this is the one I'm inspired by. The two different images and those lines connect them together. Okay, so to do this, we're going to need to have a couple of photographs of the face looking in different directions, preferably wearing different outfits to make this work. Okay, so we will start with a photograph of the head, and there is the face looking up, and then we will go to File and Place Embedded. To add the second face like so we will make sure that we press enter and that it's rasterized we will unlock one that we had first switch the order over and then we need to use the lasso tool to select parts of the head that we want to use we'll draw some zigzaggy patterns around like so in the tie and the shirt and the collar come around here and then really carefully around the edge of the face here so that we get everything how we want it and once we have got our selection we will add a layer mask by pressing the layer mask button and you can see we now have our cutout section which we can then maneuver around to put it where we think it will look better and possibly rescale it if it's too small. Once we have done this and we're happy with our placement of it, we'll press enter. We'll then click on the icon of the image, go to image adjustments and hue and saturation. And we will take out some of the color, but leave a tiny bit of color in there. So bring the saturation down and maybe vary the brightness and the lightness here. Once we're happy with that, we'll click OK. Then we'll go to the background layer. We will do a similar thing where we're going to cut out the background and place it onto a neutral background. So we're going to select the subject of the picture. In this case, it's the head. It will take a moment to select the edges for us. Once we're happy with the selection, we'll click the layer mask. And you can see we've now got a neutral background. We will then need to add a new layer, which will then drop to the back. And we need to use the gradient tool and a sort of flesh color, which we will select here. And white, which we will leave as white. We will draw a gradient down in the background to create our background effect until we get it how we like it. So we've now got all the elements we need to create our effect. If you go back to the original, you can see the thing that is missing is now all these little lines that look like it's been sewn together with string or thread. So if we go to the new one, we'll make a new layer, place it at the top, and we will select the paintbrush. We'll make sure it is nice and small on the size. And then when we're happy with that, we will select some black paint by clicking these two little icons here. Select the black, make sure it's all good, and then really carefully draw in a whole series of these little stitches. And with the stitching, you can be as careful and take as long as you like to create as many stitches as you would like to have on your response. I'm going to go around the edges first, making sure that I'm carefully drawing the little lines, just clicking and dragging to create these same effects. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible. And once you have done a whole series of these, all the way around, you can then decide to do pieces where the eye is, maybe connect the eyes up, draw some longer lines to connect the eyes. You could add in some lines where the noses are 
Add some lines over the mouth. And be really creative with your response to create it however you see fit. And eventually, when you've done enough of these, you will have something that looks like this with all the different lines all the way around to create this. And then for a finishing touch, if you click on the layer mode, you can change it to soft light to make them lighter or overlay to make them slightly more see-through. Or if you prefer to leave them as they are, you can click on normal. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this Manny Robertson tutorial. If you have, be sure to pop along to Quentin Carp to Nature of Flowers. Hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell when I make a new video, and enjoy learning all about Photoshop. Okay, thanks for watching, and have a really great day. Okay, and goodbye.